So, Sir Ranulf, thank you so much for being here with us and talking to us about exploration and leadership. I'm delighted. Thank you for asking me, Axel. Now, let's start with a very general question. Looking back at your life and the many adventures you underwent, which of these adventures are you especially proud of? I, th I think the one that uh, took the longest, it took 26 years to complete, was to find um, the lost city of incense in the greatest uh, desert in the world, the Rub al Khali, or empty quarter uh, in Arabia. So for 26 years, eight big expeditions, we looked for the lost city. And on the eighth expedition in 1992, um, we found the lost city. And now today, it's the biggest excavation works in Arabia. You talk a lot about planning pessimistically when you are preparing for expeditions like that. What do you think, what can business leaders or governmental agencies learn from that term? Well, I'm very careful not to draw exact parallels between expeditions and business. Um, but having said that, I find it is easy to be too pessimistic and not to attack, or too optimistic and buy things and then find you can't pay them back. So the, the answer, of course, is realism, which is guessing, which is statistics, which is the medial the medial point. In Antarctica, we knew that to do the first crossing of the continent without aircraft, um, we would have to cross 900 miles of unexplored, unknown territory. But we had to sit on the edge before going into the unknown area for eight months of dark, cold winter when you cannot travel now or then. And so we're sitting on the edge of the unknown for eight months and unable to plan pessimistically or optimistically because we had no information from predecessors. Any thoughts how to balance competitiveness, others potentially taking risks to achieve goals, with avoiding risks yourself when you are in a competition? Having made sure that you have tried to find out everything that is known about the problem or about the risk, once you have that completely there, then you need to decide whether to plan the method of attacking or waiting with the best possible people, the people who could be dis considered as experts. If you think that they are going to be too unrisk-taking for their own reputation, because it's safer not to take risk for a reputation, then don't ask them. What are the things you're looking for in people when you try to you know, compose the best team possible for your next ex expedition? So when I'm choosing people, I need to try to get them, because maybe there are six of them in the team. If one of them is wrong, bad choice, the whole expedition fails, even though the other five are good choices. So we can't afford to have one bad apple. And I have found statistically that if they have a religious faith, that is a good sign. It doesn't matter what faith, but any faith. You once said you can't teach character, but you can teach skills. What do you mean by this and how do you use it when you manage your people? On, on one occasion I chose 800 applicants, I only took two. And they worked out perfect, the two that we chose. One of them had never been on an expedition. Uh, he was a beer salesman in, in London. The other one from South Africa had been in a butcher's business, which had gone wrong. Therefore, he joined the British Army as a soldier. And out of 800, these two, their characters were just perfect. They were everything we were looking for. They, when we put them into bad situations, they, the, a bad side of their character did not appear. They were not egocentric. They were not sarcastic when they were feeling bad. Now, Exploration in general seems to be at the heart of humanity, of human being. Um, what can, again, trying to transfer that to business life, what can business leaders, what can large organizations learn from that? How can we make use of the exploration, the urge to explore that's in all of us? If you want to fit in as in exploration with business, 
look at the rules which are inhibiting you and don't accept them. Find a way to work with them or work around them. So Ranyov, thank you so much for talking to us. Not at all, thank you.